Greetings, Lucky Legends. My name is Lucky. This is Lucky Dad TV. I'm your host for this video, and it's time for episode three, three, three of Islagiat. And this one's about driving. And I'm an okay driver. I'm a decent driver. Uh, as you heard over a month ago now, now that I'm thinking about it. I've been in a car accident. Um, it was technically my fault. Um, there's some fault on behalf of the other drivers, but you know, primarily it was my fault because I was the car behind. Um, but the first thing that I want to say is the first time that I tried to get my actual driver's license. My actual license. Um, didn't go so well. So, I was almost done with the test. I was almost done. I was this fucking close. And I make a left turn and a Hummer smacks into the front right side of the car and I failed the test because I didn't display proper accident avoidance. So, you know, things started out great. Um, there was no actual damage to either car or anybody in either car, but, you know, when you lose, or when you fail an exam because some jackass in a giant shitmobile uh, smacks into the into your car, you, you know, you, you harbor some resentment because you're like, uh, why do I lose my exam because you don't know how to fucking drive? So, you know, you know it's, it's one of those things. Um, so that's how it started. Uh, I took the test again and passed as I should have done the first time. And... Uh, that was like the first big thing with driving. Um, and you know about the accent. But the main story that I want to tell you guys is something that happened even before that. Back when I still had um, my learner's permit. Before I actually had a license. And it was me and my mom in the car. I was driving. My mom was in the passenger seat being the, you know, teacher. Because I'm the learner. She's the teacher. And I'm driving, I'm driving, and we pull into a Walgreens parking lot. And this Walgreens happens to be on the corner of two major streets. As you know, Walgreens, they're pretty much always on a corner. This one is on the corner of two major streets. Like... I'm trying to think of, like, a good street to use as an example. But, um, each road is a three-lane street, and they're, they're significant streets. Like, I don't really know how to explain it. It's not like, it's not like those one-lane streets in the middle of fucking nowhere. These are two main streets in the middle of a major city. And I'm going to park, and my mom won't shut the fuck up. Make sure it's aligned. Make sure the tires are straight. Make sure they're blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, 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 yeah. So, finally, I say, shut up and let me do it. That was a mistake. Because now, mom's not so happy. So, we're driving. So, well, I'm driving and I'm aligned and the tires are straight and everything's going well. And, uh, she goes, you're going too fast, hit the brake. I missed the brake. I missed the brake. I hit the accelerator, the gas, whatever you want to call it. And, um, we went over, you know that, uh, the thing it, that's at the end of the parking space that, you know, lets you know that you've gone far enough, you know, that little bump. Well, it's not really a bump, it's like that big cinder block hunk that's at the end of the parking space that if your front tires hit that, that means you can't go any farther. Well, if you're accelerating, you can go farther. In fact, you can go over that and then over the curb 
and head directly towards a major street. And that's what I did. And we were heading towards a major street. You know how I said it's on two major streets? They're three lane streets. They're like legit streets. You can't cross them unless there's a red light. And uh, there was a fucking green light and there are cars going everywhere. I went over the curb. Sorry, I went over the block at the end of the parking space. I went over the curb. And we are heading right for the street. Uh, we both just about shit our pants. And she is screaming. My mom is screaming at me in a way that I've never heard my mom scream like before or since. Because it's not a scream of anger. It's not a scream of... Well, that's really the only time people generally scream. It's not a scream of anger. It is a scream of terror. It is a scream of so much terror. Hit the fucking brake! I, I can't do it. I will destroy all of your eardrums. I also don't sound anything like my mom. Hit the fucking brake. Hit the fucking brake. Hit the fucking brake. Um, I finally slam on the brake and we come to a hard stop. I'm talking one of those. One of those all the way forward, all the way back. Stops. And, uh, she says, get the fuck out of the car! So I get out of the car. And, head hanging. Slowly walk away from the car. She gets out, goes over to the driver's side, reverses, goes back over the thing, goes back over the curb, then back over the thing at the end of the parking space, uh, then does that again because we went over it, you know, front wheels and back wheels. And, oh, then she leaves. She leaves me there. Um, we were in walking distance from my house, so uh, she just fucking left. She just left me there and went home. And I was like, that seems like a really strong reaction. Until I realized just how close we actually were to going into the middle of an intersection. Um, there were tire tracks through the grass um, that ended about two feet from the sidewalk on the other side. So basically it went well, I'll do it this way. Curb, grass, sidewalk, street. Naturally. And between the sidewalk and the tire tracks was only about two feet. Which means we were about, because I think sidewalks are, I think they're three feet wide. Which means we were five feet. Actually, no. Because the front of the car is about a foot and a half. We were three and a half feet from being in a major intersection. And she was not happy. For obvious reasons. And, you know, we were in a Walgreens parking lot. And that's the Walgreens that we always go to. I mean, we go there whenever we have a prescription filled. And we went back about a week later... And the tire tracks were still there. And fun fact, that Walgreens that I work at is in the same shopping center as the restaurant that I now work at as a cook. So, um, fun fact for my boss, because I know that he watches these because these are, they're not video game content and he's, he's not interested in video games because he's not. But I know that he watches these because he likes to make fun of me for them. Um, I can even tell it, tell him exactly which parking space it was. Because, I remember, if we were on the next parking space to the left, I would have hit a tree. We were one parking space over to the right, which is why I did not hit a tree. If I was one parking space over to the left, I would have smacked into the fucking tree. And my mom would have stabbed me in the face. 
would have killed me immediately. Because... Yeah, I would have deserved it too. Because uh, I, I was... I was a jackass. I was like, I got it, I got it, I got it. Almost crashed. And that's gonna... That's, uh... That's... This is sloggy at. Uh, I wanna hear, um... The really cool thing about YouTube is that you see people in a lot of different age groups. Um, I know one of my viewers is um, in the, you know, like 10 to 14 age range. Um, I'm sure some of them are in like the 30 plus age range. Um, so I'm curious uh, what, if any, experiences you've had driving, um, good or bad, because, you know, Driving is an interesting thing, especially with American road rage, how it is. Um, if you're from a different country, I'm actually very curious because, uh, like I, well, like you will hear on Monday, I'm not much of a traveler. I don't travel that often, and and I'm curious to hear what you guys' experience has been driving in other countries, if you have done so, because I never have. So. That's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. It's very much greatly appreciated. All of those things can be found right below this video. But with that, I'm going to get about. Best of luck to you out there. I will see you all soon. Goodbye.